there and welcome back. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but some things have taken place in my life which has made the shooting schedule a little bit more complicated. I got a new job that I love recently, so obviously that interferes with my normal schedule. But also, I got super sick and lost my voice for a week, which was terrible. And then, I don't know, just life got in the way. But I wanted to extend a special thank you to my cousin who used to be a stressed out grad student doing research and in his spare time helping me out with this random beauty stuff. But now he's officially a stressed out pre-med student and he's gonna kill it as a doctor. So thank you so much and as always, I love you and congratulations! But before I get into the meat of this video, I also wanted to extend a thank you to you as well. Just so you know, I have a little bit of social anxiety because posting your opinions on the internet, especially with your face attached, is kind of scary. But for everyone who's commented, the Pete, the Amber Style, Alexandria, Ming, Anagha, the Odd Ballerina, um, Melis, Rebel, I know I'm forgetting a lot of other people, but it really means a lot to me that you would stumble into my corner of the internet and even write a comment. And if you don't get an answer from me immediately, I actually answer comments in chunks because sometimes I just like don't want to get sucked into YouTube. So if you leave a comment, I'll always answer, but don't worry if it's a little late. I am just being a socially awkward human in my house. So getting into the meat of this video, I wrote my cousin into helping us on our quest to understand what the Rollies were. And I said in the original Cure Gel video that he would run a mass spectrometry test on the Rollies. In my forensic files like CSI, Too Many Crime Shows Mind, I thought it would be really easy to run a mass spectrometry test. But of course, in reality, it is not so. My cousin was explaining to me that he was having a difficult time solubilizing the rollies in order to put them into the mass spectrometry machine or even an NMR test. So NMR stands for nuclear magnetic resonance testing and because of the format of the samples, he couldn't do either of those. Instead, he did an SDS page test. An SDS page stands for sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. It's a really common way to use electrophoresis to detect and sort proteins. And I may have said before, but I need to say it again, I am not someone from a science background. If anyone has more information on this, definitely let me know, but I'll share with you what he told me. Unfortunately, my cousin didn't get any video footage of the testing itself, but I can quickly summarize what he did. He basically took the cure gel and the rollies, put water into two test tubes, of course separate, made sure that whatever was inside the gel and the rollies came out into the water by sonicating them on a special high vibration plate, then put buffer into the two test tubes to make sure everything has a negative charge. He then loaded that mixed solution into a large gel block that has larger pores on the top of the block and smaller pores on the bottom. So basically, if there are proteins in whatever substance you're testing, it will show up as being blue. I flashed the test results and I'm going to do it here again, but essentially through the SDS page test, if there's any protein in the substance that you're testing, it'll show up as blue. And you can see from the results that the used cure rollies definitely show up as blue where the control sample of the Cure Aqua Gel exfoliator don't show up as blue at all. One of the reasons why the blue may be faint for the rollies is because my cousin hypothesized to me that a lot of protein might be stuck in the eraser rollies and since he had such a hard time making them soluble or solubilizing the little rollies, a protein clump or a majority of the protein could be stuck inside that little rolly and not a lot of it could have leached out into the water. So that could be a reason why that they're faint or it could just be that, you know, they didn't really take off much protein at all. We haven't done any further testing, but basically there definitely 100% is protein in the eraser rollies that you use to exfoliate your skin. Now, the presence of protein does not exactly correlate to like 
profound exfoliation but i definitely thought it was interesting because it's definitely doing something and i just wanted to update you on the findings that my cousin and i have kind of toiled over for a long time now so i apologize for the delay in the video i didn't want to mess with his pre-med preparation but i hope you found this as interesting as i did and if you like this video you might like some of the others on my channel feel free to join me in my bumbling exploration of everything and i hope this video was helpful i hope to see you in the next one and until then thanks for commenting watching and i hope to see you soon. Bye! Subscribe if you want, but you don't have to. Bye!